So I thank you for your time and I thank you for joining me. Um, if you would like a personal reading, you'll find the information down below to my website. I do respond very quickly. I can oftentimes schedule readings uh, much sooner than um, anticipated. So thanks and we're gonna get started here. I'm going to do a double Celtic cross. I like to make these readings concise and to the point. Uh, so we're looking at Aries energy here. And this is for those who are in partnership, okay? For those who are in partnership, what is the general reading for my partnered Aries male gaze? Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Let's, I like to shuffle the cards this way and let spirit um, choose what we have here. So this is going to take a little bit of time. Um, this is 24 cards we're going to pull and we're going to do it the long form way and let spirit choose the energy and the cards. I find this to be the most effective way to do this. There we go. There's one. Okay. Oops. Okay. We have two. We have three. We have four. Okay. So... There we go. Okay. We have two for... In the general readings, I do not read reversals. Um, I save that more in-depth look for private readings. Okay. All right. We have... I will explain the cards as we go along. So these came down first, so we'll put those out here. Let's see, and then we've got these. There we go. Okay, two more for our outcome for Aries couples. And we're doing this from the Aries uh, perspective. So this is the Aries reading, and the partner is the cross watcher. Uh, so just for your reference point, we'll do this as ter in terms of what Aries will come away feeling and thinking about the month and what's gone on. We need one more card, Aries. Aha, well we have two, we have three. Okay, I'm going to pick these all up because they are outcome cards. So. I'm going to go with that, even though it is a double Celtic. Okay, so let's see here. So, what we have, and I will also, I'll be explaining the cards. I'll explain the positions of the cards and their meaning in terms of the context of the reading. And I also will use clarifiers to get more information if I don't, if it's not really clear here what the cards mean. Okay, so the situation as we enter the month is the Justice card and the Nine of Coins. Okay, so that energy is very interesting because the Nine of Coins shows that that is Earth sign energy. So that is, um, you know, that's our, that is uh, Taurus, Virgo, and um, Taurus, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo. <laughs> okay, wait a minute here. We have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Oh, heavens. Sorry about that. <laughs> I am new to videotaping readings. All right. So we have Earth sign energy here. Nine of Pentacles. This is um, the love interest of Aries because Aries is a, is a fire sign. Uh, and that indicates that your partner, Aries, 
is somebody who's highly desirable, who is a very attractive person, who's who has built some wealth, who has taken care of themselves, they know how to dress, they have a nice home. Um, somebody who's highly desirable, someone who really knows how to make things happen and how to manifest. Now the energy coming into the reading is very interesting. It's called justice. And as you can see, two people are behind bars reaching out across the aisle to try to come together. So as the uh, month begins, it shows that there's been a separation, but not by choice. So let's look and see what this energy is. Um, both Aries and Taurus would like to balance this out. And uh, you know, this could mean that you're separated by other people. This could mean you're separated by circumstances. It could mean that one person's away um, at a distance on a job and there's separation there. And it feels like a prison for both of you. So um, so going in, that's, how, that's the energy coming into the month. And then for, for good or ill, we have the Four of Cups, a little bit of boredom, and we have the, the, the Guide of Coins. So what we have here is, again, it looks like a work situation in which one person is traveling. And in this particular case, I would say it is the, the Taurus energy or the Earth sign energy, I should say. I also get the Four of Cups here. There's some boredom. There's this sort of feeling of dissatisfaction with the circumstances, but everything is okay. Everything will work out. It's for the good. It's for the good of the relationship. And um, so the Aries energy is keeping busy with their own uh, projects. Um, oftentimes it's showing a theater curtain and some actors. So definitely doing your own thing, Aries. That's really a very favorable, favorable spot for you to be in here. Okay, so the Aries questions coming into the month are very significant. Aries simply does not know exactly if the two of you are enough alike or whether the differences will make the relationship grow. So the good news is, is that, you know, you're, you have the lover's card and that is a divine card of soulmate energy. It does indicate that there is a commitment um, that you have become lovers, but Aries, you still have this hanged man energy. And it tells me that you're not quite satisfied with feeling as though you know everything. You're, you're, and also it, it definitely indicates that you're not the person traveling most likely, that, that you're home alone. And so there's, um, you know, and certainly missing your lover with this other energy that we've had here. All right, we have in the recent past, we have intuitive. This is the, the um, energy of the high priest or priestess. What this indicates is a person who is psychic. Um, it's interesting here because we have the star on the forehead uh, indicating psychic energy with the moon. Um, and it indicates that this person is able to see the magic of the relationship and also to see what's going on. This energy is typically thought of as Virgo, <clears throat> excuse me, the magician card is usually Virgo and Gemini energy. And so the Aries person is quite psychic, quite intuitive. They have Pisces in the 12th house, which makes them very intuitive. And so they're trying to figure out exactly what the story is. Uh, in the recent past with their magician card. These are two very favorable cards for a relationship. It indicates spiritual essence for both parties. It indicates um, great chemistry, the magician card. The magician card also is a healer. Uh, and the high priest or priestess indicates a spiritual being who's very elevated and looks at things from a compassionate spiritual standpoint and keeps secrets to themselves. So that's the energy of the recent past. All right. The best that can happen coming out of the month is we have, let's see, the man of wands and the four of coins. All right. So what this says is somebody is sort of keeping track of everything. We have what appears to be like a police officer here. 
and watching and kind of patrolling and looking out for the safety of what I feel is our Aries energy. So your partner looks as though they're really out there. They're putting themselves out there. They're looking out for the partnership for you. And I'm getting that you're doing your creative thing. Again, the Four of Coins is holding on. It means that um, although you're not fully satisfied, you, you certainly, with the separation this month, it shows that you are, you know, certainly holding on to, to this person coming back. All right. In the near future, we have the Sage of Coins and the Seven of Coins. So the energies of the partners here are certainly the sage of coins appears to be, again, earth sign energy. So we have, you know, the earth signs here, the Virgo, the Taurus, and the Capricorn. And this is very Virgo in energy here. Um, planting a garden, nurturing the garden, creating abundance. And the energy of you, Aries, looks as though we have the seven of coins. You're not quite feeling as though the separation between the two of you is worth the price that you are paying for it, either economically or emotionally. So that's something that you'll look at. You know, you're holding judgment right now to see if this is different. This, this, in this reading, it also means that one person could travel for work, uh, oftentimes pilots, flight attendants, um, tech people or people that have to travel to see clients are oftentimes traveling. So that's what's going on in the relationship is there, there's a very close look being taken at the cost of travel and the cost of the time that you're away from each other. Uh, you could also live in different cities. Uh, you might not have made that commitment fully um, to live in the same city yet also. So this implies that the separation could be a temporary one it could be one in which you're going to judge later if you're going to live in the same area or the same home together okay does it also means that you could live together but also just be separated by work all right shows here the youth of swords and the youth of wands all right so the youth of swords tends to be um that would be a like a page or somebody sending messages via the internet a partner keeping you know contact through written messages and i get the the youth of wands here activity this would be more likely to be phone calls a lot of phone calls a lot of texting a lot of emails a lot of bath and back and forth communication so that's the situation as you move forward uh, that is um, you know by the end of the month it looks as though that will be an important part of how happy you are. All right. All right. Now we have the Seven of Swords and we have the Man of Swords. So this is a little bit uncomfortable. The Man of Swords is over here and he's just doing his job. So it shows that he's very comfortable. Um, he's doing his work in his laboratory. He's very detached. He's very engrossed in what he's doing. But I get the Seven of Swords energy is that in this situation, one of the partners looks as though they're taking some chances and, you know, they're, they're, really, they're really distracted. And it distracted by different messages from different people. So this can also indicate that there is some sort of energy in which the partners are not together and one partner is trying to find some solace or, you know, really risking falling in the partnership by perhaps, you know, conversing or talking to people they shouldn't converse or talk with. Uh, this is Seven of Swords. That tends to be uh, a person who's feeling defensive and a person who feels as though the situation isn't fair and maybe they should talk to some other people for, for the fun of it. But look at this, they're about to fall off their skateboard. So that means they could get discovered. So be a little careful here. And this does look like the Aries energy in the partnership. So just saying, maybe not, maybe, maybe the partner or the love interest, but that's what I'm getting. Okay, and then in the hopes and fears, I'm getting a high hopes on both your both your parts. I mean, I'm getting Aries really feeling like 
they they just think this relationship could be the absolute epitome of everything they've ever hoped and dreamed for. The realization of dreams, the emperor pot card is manifestation of creative interests and making sure that things go right, helping run the play, being the director, um, holding everybody accountable for their part. That's the wish of Aries for the month. And I'm also getting the guide of swords, meaning that uh, you're being protected. You're divinely protected in your relationship with your partner, Aries. Um, you have this very big angel with wings. And so very, very significant relationship protection. Um, you look safe. You look good for the relationship this month. I'm getting for your outcome, Aries, for the month of August, I'm getting the Three of Cups celebration. That means that you will definitely be with friends, with your partner again. Uh, this is a card that represents, it can represent bridesmaids at a wedding. It can represent very good friends just out having fun, but it represents a celebration. And that celebration comes after a period of work. So we see, you know, it looks like somebody who looks a little bit like Benjamin Franklin here and uh, keeping time, you know, really keeping track of everything that's going on in the relationship. I also get this great energy of the Two of Swords, which shows that uh, it's like meditation, not letting anything get to you, not really letting anything um, sort of breach your trust or interfere with your way of thinking about the relationship. And here's a great card to end up the month. We get the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands says that you will make a decision by the end of the month that this relationship is worth whatever it takes to put it together, to keep it together. It looks like a divine connection. The Lover's card is definitely in the number six is, is a soulmate connection. So it looks like you have a very good month. Um, Aries and I'm really happy to see that for you. I would like to clarify this energy before we leave the reading uh, in terms of the Seven of Swords. What's going what's going on here that could make you fall Aries? What's what's this card? What does it mean? So let's look and see what that means in the reading. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, okay, the Two of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so those cards, the Two of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune actually means that you may be juggling some sort of other responsibility. Maybe you've taken over your partner's duties in some aspect in the community. Um, it shows that you're looking into the future. It means looking into the future. And it also means a Wheel of Fortune. So things are, are looking up. So this looks as though you might not be as steady, but messages and packages. Uh, also here with uh, the card that indicated, uh, we had this card. Oops, a daisy, where is it at? I'm getting the card that indicated political action in the community. So it shows that you may help um, with some sort of volunteer effort for your partner. So this looks really quite good. Um, you look as though you have a very good month with a decision, ah, here we go, being made with the Six of Wands, that's victory. It can also mean an offer of love or an engagement or the offer to move in, um, to invite somebody to move in, but it is victory after challenges. So happy August, Aries. Thank you so much for your time. If you liked the video today, if you liked the reading, please uh, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave comments. I would really appreciate comments because we are new at this. So any help we can get, any ideas that we can get from you, we would really appreciate. Thank you so much, Aries. Have a great August. Once again, August 2019 looks great.